Right guys, it's time to pack up now, thank you. Okay guys, sorry, just before I let you go, I have been told to tell you that there are five spaces available on an outdoor skills development course. This course will take place this Friday into Saturday and Sunday. If anyone is interested, you have to go to Mr Hunt's office at lunch. So we've got some interest. You all hear about the trip? Yeah. Don't know why, no. Eden has as much right to be here as anyone else, so show him some respect. Well, since you're here, I'll tell you a little bit about the trip. It's set up to allow you to learn some new outdoor skills, and if you're successful, you'll achieve the Bronze Skylark Outdoor Award. So I'll just give you out a couple of forms here. There you go. On your sheet, you'll find a list of all the requirements for the Skylark Ward. Uh, on the first day, we're going to have to locate and set up a suitable base camp, which we'll use for the two nights that we're there. On Saturday, we'll complete a mat work exercise. I'll tell you a bit more about that at the time. Then on Sunday, the plan is to hike up a hill. So, where is it we're going exactly? The location's a few hours north of here. It's pretty remote, so you can forget about phone reception. Okay, see you all here, nine o'clock Friday morning. Now back your sheets, a list of equipment you're expected to bring. Pack sensibly. Pack sensibly. sensibly. Yep, one for me, one for you, Abby and Isla, and one for Lewis and Ethan. No way. What do you mean? I'm not sure I tell him. Well, there's not much you can do about that. I'm not doing this. It's a bit late to be changing your mind now. Come on, let's get going. You just had to do this, didn't you? I hope you're happy. Have we passed our little hill coming up here? Yeah, it was just uh, five minutes down the road off to the right. How come? I've climbed up it with my grandpa a few times. I haven't done that one yet. Is it a good climb? 
Yeah, it's worth doing. I think there's a big waterfall around the other side of it. I haven't been up this way before. Grandpa used to love the woodlands around here. It's your grandpa, Robert Cairns. Sorry to hear about that. It's okay. I believe he'll be dead by now. He went missing two months ago. That's terrible. Was he acting oddly before? Not as far as I could tell. So do you still go out walking? No, not really. My parents speak to me so little that my grandpa used to pretend to forget their names. Well, you're a strong lad. Stronger than that lot, anyway. Lewis, I think you should go and help Ethan pitch a tent. Looks like he needs to hammer those poles. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Great work, guys. You'll be done in no time. Right, it's getting late. We need to go and get some firewood. Put it this way. We don't have any firewood. We've got nothing to cook on. You didn't bring a stove. We have fires only. It's part of the course. I swear we're coming with you then. I only need three people. The other two can stay here and finish setting up. How many is it going to be? Okay, I'll pick. Abby, you stay here with Ethan and finish setting up. The other three come with me. Sound good? I'll come. Can't leave someone by themselves, I'm afraid. Plus, it's a good chance for you to get to know Ethan. Won't be long. Why on earth do you have to be here? You've totally screwed this up. I'll do it, I'm going to find them. Eh, uh, I don't think that's a great idea. You wait here and I'll go on my own. You can't go on your own, you'll get lost. Just stay here or they'll be back soon. You can't make me stay, I can do what I want. Right, fine. You're not going to stop. I'll come with you. I get that you want to be with your friends, but I really don't think it's smart to go any further. Well, you think they're back? Well, they're not, because if they were, we would have passed them. I'm just saying that the sun is coming down, and I think we should get back before it becomes dark. Did you hear that? That must be them. usually feel worse than they are. Feels okay. I think we can walk it off. Okay, let's go. Grandpa? Everything all right? It's gonna get dark soon. Is it not best to head back? Oh, so it is. Silly me. Right, come on, let's go. Are you okay? Ah, it looks like you've just twisted it. Just twisted it? It's okay. You'll be able to walk it off. Come on, let's stand up. Where did you know that? It's one of those things. I'd avoid getting lost in the first place. Obviously. Always be prepared. If you are lost, the key is to keep a controlled mind. Don't be afraid to admit to yourself that that's the case. 
the quicker you stop, the better. Got me? Yeah. I remember getting lost in a glen once. I tell you, it's easy to panic. But you've got to stay in control. Knowing me, I had my compass on me. So I knew that if I walked in a straight line, it would take me back in the general direction I had come from. Now I'll admit, it wasn't the quickest route, but I knew I couldn't go far wrong. I never leave home without one of those. You're asking for trouble. Or you want to get lost. But you've had to have a mental problem to be deliberately lost. What should we do? I think we came from roughly west. So it's probably best to head back that way. Okay. Thanks.